what is up guys welcome to the being beautifully honest podcast and channel thanks for being here and for being subscribed if you're not go ahead and hit that button and if you're listening on youtube hit that like button it's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch let's brighten up the place and get into this reality chat listen i wanted to share this with you guys i'm going to put a link to the full video in the description box but michelle atl and brown she had a conversation on her channel with johnny who was on the real housewives of atlanta he used to be candy's assistant if you're familiar with that situation he sued candy and he you know consulted with phaedra but phaedra was not his attorney but you know this was during a time when phaedra and candy had a falling out and it was you know looking like phaedra was being petty and you know and dirty and whatever but i digress he was on this most recent um or couple of most recent episodes of Married to Medicine, he was hired to be the wedding planner and coordinator for Sweet Tea and Dr. G's wedding. Okay, so it was kind of cool seeing him on there because we haven't seen him on the show since he sued Candy. But I, I found it very refreshing because Michelle, she is team Nene no matter what, right? And (laughs) I'm fine with people being team, whoever they want to be. But I found it very interesting that someone came on her channel that she, I, I, I thought she felt like was going to go in on Candy because she sees Candy as Nini's arch nemesis, in my personal opinion. And so to have someone come on her channel that's holding... Nini accountable as well. He, not saying he didn't go in and share things about Candy and Todd <laughs> that I found very interesting. So go and check it out. Listen to the full video. I'm not going to go into all that, but he did make some insinuations about how Mama Joyce was right and Todd is an opportunist. And if you've noticed, based on his on their prenuptial agreement, based on that, the types of things that he has been doing in business are things that are going to benefit him were they to get divorced. And that's why he immediately wanted to go start and open up restaurants and other things that they've been doing. thought those things were interesting. So go and check out the full video. But I wanted to play this clip because he said some things that I have been saying. And it is refreshing when you hear someone that sees what you're seeing because it really gets annoying to a point for me when I see so many people saying, especially now because it looks like Nini may have a new PR team or whatever, even though she just recently got a judgment against her for unpaid rent for the lounge, the Lanithia lounge, or what? maybe not the lounge, maybe it was one of those boutiques that she had and she just tried to say, oh, well, that was in Greg's name. But girl, (laughs) it was your business. They sued, work something out, but don't just not answer the complaint at least answer the complaint so they don't just get a default judgment against you. I just feel that that's whack. That's lazy. It it doesn't take anything, especially for somebody like her, to get an attorney just to file an answer to the complaint, reach out to the plaintiff's side, and work something out. Because it, it's something like that, that's so easily done, especially when she claims that she's got it like that, right? But anyway, I digress. It's refreshing to hear someone who is not just team Nene just because they feel like, oh, this is what the Real Housewives have been missing, but you're seeing her on social media. Honestly, looking, she looks good. I'm not saying anything about her looks or anything, but some people are saying, oh, it looks like she is making her come back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Well, Johnny said some things and it honestly was making Michelle look uncomfortable, but I just want to play this clip for you guys to listen to. And... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I was like, wow, she she really doesn't want to hear this, but it's nothing but the truth. Right now, they would have been filming. Mm-hmm. They they don't know who to keep, what not to keep. I said, mm-hmm. well, obviously, the show is in jeopardy. Mm-hmm. And I keep telling so, everybody this. Nobody want to listen to me. They just want to believe <laughs> all the other blogs that's making up stories and stuff. It's not, that show is in jeopardy. They They really don't know. What's really going on for real? It's the Nene effect. Nene, go, you know, they need to go and cut her that check. Right. Bring her back. Here's, here's the thing. I don't think she can save it at this point, though. So you can, so you can sue a network. <laughs> Get, that don't settle pay you out. 
talk trash about them, call them racist, and all that stuff, and then now they're back at your door. Bethany did it. Um, Bill Zarin did it. Uh, the Caucasians do it all the time. I mean, they don't necessarily call them racist, but they call them out and sue them and talk about, you know, unfair treatment. And they forced them to drink alcohol. And they had a pedophile working next to me. You know, they do all of that and complain and argue with the boss, and then they come back. They, they do all that. So why the black people can't do it? Is it privilege? I, I, I guess. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, and it's not like she lied. Nah, she didn't. And she Bethany didn't. even said today, I was actually going to talk about it on my show, but I didn't go live tonight. Uh, Bethany even said in her podcast that she had texts in her phone from Andy, that Andy used to drag Nene. You know, she didn't say exactly what he said, yeah. but she used to, he used to drag Nene and Jill Zarin. She said he had a hair up his ass for both of them, and <laughs> that... um. Nene is definitely blackballed because you know, like I just said, they brought Jill's Aaron back. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess, I guess she'll get back on there. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I mean, I know, I know that she needs it. Don't talk about my definitely... friend like that. We all need it. No, but she really, she overspent. <laughs> over... So I don't think she had the the right people in her circle. Mm-hmm. And when you around you know, different sums of money like that, people don't know how to live money with management and, and all money that. Management. She definitely, you must her be her attitude, her attitude. Huh? What happened? Her, her attitude it really got her in a lot too. Because swag No Nene slander will be allowed. I'm not, I'm not, I'm I'm not trying to slander her, but her boutiques, her restaurant, the lounge, all that stuff. It's about how you treat people. Her employees have complained at the time, saying they wasn't getting compensated. Another compensation issue over there. Um, it was just a lot that had been going on when it came to that. But you got to humble yourself. And, mm-hmm. and I'll ask that, like I tell people, it doesn't matter how much money you have. You don't humble yourself. Things will happen, and you'll see when all this stuff gets taken from you, don't have no choice but to humble yourself and go back to the drawing board. That's true. That's true. That, that, that is I just feel like with her, and you know, I ain't making no excuses for nobody's attitude or whatever, because I do feel like when you come from nothing and you get a lot of something, it mm-hmm. changes everybody's attitude. You know what I mean? It, it gives you a, a sense of, you know, grandeur or whatever. Yeah. But I do feel like also that she had Greg, you know, managing a bunch of her stuff and even managing her managers, you know what I mean? And yes. once she lost Greg, to me, it just felt like she's just all over the place because, you know, she don't have that stability right there anymore. Kind of even, when Greg was in, even when Greg was in his last stages, I don't give a damn about being on social media. This way. You should have been every waking moment with your husband until the very, 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 very last and not on these dates with these other people mm-hmm. doing all this other stuff. That, that was still... Kind of wrong. Judge not, lest you it's be judged. You've been dealing with Greg's sickness that shit was for years. That yes. shit was wrong. Listen, <laughs> I man, hear you. And that man snuck and videoed her. Remember? The, man, the, the young guy that snuck and videoed them. Yes. You remember that? That young guy that snuck and videoed them and posted for clout. And then the, we, he did I remember it was on Tasha K. I remember. Yeah, we ain't heard nothing else from that man since then. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully he's still alright. <laughs> he got a he's a he's a he's a party promoter or something, child. Yeah, but he was he was managing a hookah bar time somewhere. Time. Mm-hmm. They said that wasn't her. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't her. That was AI. That was AI. Yeah, yeah, that was Photoshop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he photoshopped her sleeping. She had on a white tee. She wasn't naked. She moment, had on a white tee. Her wig was still on. If, if you want to convince me, you need to give me a shot with the wig snipping. Wig ain't on. You know, a little titty blurred out or something. I'm just saying. I don't, I don't believe it. <laughs> Is that what's uh, said, Johnny? What's your status at the bank pay? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I was sitting there laughing because... Michelle, girl, stop making excuses for Nene, okay? And and that's the thing. It's like when you like someone, like them because you like them and that's fine. But don't sit there and make excuses for this person when you go hard on other people 
and hey, you have the right to go hard on other people too. But Johnny was holding Nene accountable and I loved it because he didn't care. He was holding her accountable on a Nene friendly platform. I know Nene was pissed about it and Johnny did not care because he said she needs to learn to humble herself. And I absolutely 100% agree with that. I've been saying that for some time now. And he said so many of the things that I have been saying. Okay, you're going to sue a network, call them racist, trash them on social media, and then you're going to go back and work for them. He said she needs that check. (laughs) He said that, you know, like she was trying to make excuses for Needy and say, well, you know, Greg, when Greg was around, he was the one that was managing most of that stuff. And then he was managing her managers and the manager's managers. And so like, girl, stop making these excuses for Nini. And, and see, that's the problem with Nini. She wants to point the finger and put the blame on everyone else when it comes to why things weren't working out for you. And honestly, being blackballed is not a crime. Th- they call it blackballing, you know, but if someone spreads the word about, look, I work with this person before. I choose not to work with them again and you might want to be aware of that person either and they choose not to work with you and then the word spreads, that's not a crime. It may not be fair, but more likely than not, when someone has grown to be such a problem, it's rare that they're going to be different in another place. And I don't think Nini has changed. I mean, I mean, time has went by and she may have seen the error of her ways, not really owned up to it, but... You know, because she doesn't do that. She's always like, well, I'm willing to have a conversation and, you know, we need to sit down and talk about it. No, they don't owe you anything. They don't owe you a conversation. It's a job. And period. They, You know, when Michelle tried to say, oh, they need Nene back. They don't need her back. And people need to get that clear. They don't need Nene back. And even him saying, you know, when your husband is dying and you're out here on social media and going out with other guys, he should have, you know, you should have been with him to the very end. Like that didn't look good. Michelle tried to make excuses of that. Well, she had been dealing with Greg's sickness for a long time. What? Girl, I'm done. I'm done. But anyway, I just wanted to talk about that. You can go and listen to the full interview. I have the link in the description box so you can check it out. But I just was like laughing when he was holding Nene accountable because there is nothing that she could do to dispute it. She could try to get her little barbs in there to be like, no, Nene slander here on my channel. And he said, I'm not slandering her. I'm saying the truth. (laughs) I'm saying the truth. And that's the thing. Truth is not slander. You may not like the truth, but the truth is the truth. So anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section. Thank you for being here, for liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until the next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye.